Many of us are starting out the new year, including myself, yeah. <laughs> wearing a new fitness tracker. You know, the latest fitness technology tracks so much more than just those 10,000 steps. They make it easy to keep track of your health. And what do you do with all that information? Maybe you glance at it on your Fitbit or on your Apple Watch. It gets to be a lot of stuff, so clinical exercise physical therapist Gail Erickson with Live Well and Alina Health is here to help us break all of this down. So nice to have you with us today. Yeah. Uh, help me know what I should what be doing, doing with all this stuff. There is a lot of data here. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, there's a ton of data. You know, I mean, the watches now are becoming... They're a real hot fitness trend. The Apple Watch, the Garmin Watch, yeah. those sorts of things. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different mm -hmm. types and kinds that, and they can measure all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Heart rate, your blood oxygen levels, your sweat, mm -hmm. your skin temperature, your sleep, um, your steps. Right your location. You may not need to measure stuff. all of that stuff. So I wonder for people, for the average person, what should you use your tracker for? Mm. Uh, you know, should you use, should you rely on it to figure out your sleep? Should you use it just, just for the steps? Do I need to know how much I sweat? Uh, I'm just wondering, what are the key things? <laughs> you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Right. Um, someone who is really into exercise, they're gonna maybe want to know more. Mm -hmm. So they might want a watch that has more bells and whistles. Somebody who's just starting out, somebody who maybe doesn't have a watch, mm -hmm. they want, they're thinking that they can use that watch to help motivate them to move more. Mm -hmm. I would recommend something with not a lot of bells and whistles. Pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. Pretty yeah. minimal. Yeah. Because they're gonna want to find a baseline and then start from that baseline. Most people think, oh, I gotta do 10,000 steps. But if you do 10,000 steps, or you tell someone, oh, you gotta do 10,000 steps right off the bat, and they don't get that. Yeah. yeah. You can feel you like know, a failure. Then they're right. gonna feel and like a failure. Take it off. And, yeah. Right. yeah. I see you are wearing a, a yes. tracker. Uh, I, you, how do you find it useful? I wear it constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be a problem too. Right, you get addicted people, to it. You right. do. You feel naked without it. You might feel like you, um, it's not worth doing the exercise unless you have it on. Hmm. So it can become a problem in that way or if you get really stuck on the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I use mine for steps and I, if I don't wear it, then I have no idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gail, right. very How active I've been. Right. It's a very good discussion. So, Thanks yeah. for coming in, and uh, Gail Erickson from Alina. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.